Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today guys, I want to show you how to um, reactivate your account back if you get hacked or probably this this particular video is very sensitive guys. Please pay close attention. If, you, um, if your account is hacked, between the first three hours after it hacked, you need to um, reactivate the account back or you need to secure the account back. If not, um, it's going to go forever and you won't be able to get your account back again or sometimes you might be able to try to use the facebook hack report to help but most of the time it doesn't actually help so i'm making this video to um guide you guys on how to get an account safe from hackers or actually get your account back from hackers immediately after it's hacked or the first three hours before after it's hacked because if you don't do this for the first three hours, I'm using the first three hours because although it actually um, exists for the first um, 10 hours, but after the first 10 hours, it, the code actually expires. And when the code expires, you won't be able to get your account back. So um, in that explained, I'm going to log in into an account. And then, you know, before somebody will be able to log into your account and hack your account, firstly, the person needs to have um, two of your details, either your email and your password or your phone number and your password, which you use in creating that account. So whenever the person logs in into the account, he's going to change the email and the password. And then you won't be able to have access to the account because the email and password has been changed. So in this video, guys, I'm going to show you guys what to go or how to go about it if you are hacked. So um, if you guys want to watch and learn how to create your email or how to change your email address, you can watch my free previous video. So let's dive in into this video. I'm going to go ahead and log in into the Facebook account, which I want to probably I want to hack, but it's actually my account. So this is the I already linked this to an email address. I am not certain about the particular email address which it is, but I'm going to check. <laughs> All right. So I'm logged in into the accounts right now. And before I hack, I'm going to go over to this settings area. So let's say we want to hack this account and probably this is somebody's account that we have access to. So I'm going to settings, settings. And then this is the email address that is linked to it, which is um, giftvig at gmail.com. And I think it's the same email address as this one. Now, you can notice each time somebody logs into your account, there is always this notification that you get on your email. If you don't get it on your email, you either get it on your messenger and other stuff. So if this wasn't you, you can easily go through by clicking on um, to say, um, let us know. And then apart from going through this area, you can also log out every logged in account and quickly change your password. That is the first thing to do when you notice that someone just hacked your account. That's the first thing which you need to do in order to stay safe from hackers. So the next thing is this. Um, let me go over to change this email, right? This is the email that I'm, I'm currently logged in. So I'm going to change this email into this other email address. <laughs> This is a new email address I just created for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to say I want to um, use this email address as a new email address that is going to have access to that account, which is actually going to be probably the hacker's account. So let's say um, this is the hacker's email address. And then I'm going to come over here, click on edit contact, which is to edit the email address, which is the primary email address. And then what I'm going to do is to add another email address and you can notice it says new email address and I'm, I'm going to paste this one and then click on add email address. <clears throat> so now you can notice um, an email has been sent to this email address and then this is actually the email address. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page to see the email address that was sent here. So this is the email address that I received and this is the confirmation code that I need to verify that particular account. So I'm going to copy this confirmation code and go over to the um, account, close it. And then I want to confirm it by clicking on confirm. And then I'm going to input this code right here. 
So, yeah, it's successful. Now I've successfully hacked this account and now this is the new email address. So, and then another thing you can notice the primary email address is still this one and this one is still another email address. So now we have two email addresses here. So I can say make primary which is um, make the primary email address. So I'm going to make this the default email address, which is the new one I just hacked. And then while this is going on, um, I might have to refresh this page. While this is going on, actually this, um, my own default, okay, this is this is the one to change the primary address, which, which is um, the new account. And then this is the email, which um, is the rightful owner of the account. Now you can notice, even though all this are going on, you can notice that it says, um, it says your email address, your primary email address has been changed on Wednesday date, which is this. So definitely if someone had your account, this is the email you are going to get. You are going to get this email right here. And you can notice it's from Facebook. Note, there is no way that you are going to miss this message. Each time somebody changes your email address, Facebook is always going to send you a notification to that email address. So you guys should be cautious of the email address you receive from Facebook. Now I refresh the page. You can notice this one is now the primary address and this is no longer the um, primary address. So I can go ahead and remove this one so between the um between the period where this person is doing all these stuffs you you got to um have gotten this notification on your mail that somebody just changed your email address so definitely i don't think there is much time to waste even though the seconds you waste it actually very harmful because right now you can no longer log into the email address with this um, email address and then i can still change the phone number if i want to but i just want to show you guys how this works so right now i log i i have actually made this person the rightful owner of that facebook account now i'm going to go ahead to log in into the facebook account with this new email address which is um this one right here which is not actually the rightful owner of the account uh, I think I have an account logged in here. Let me open a different one instead. Let me open it in incognito. So let's say that account has been stolen. Oh, this is previous code. I think they didn't copy the email address. Okay, copy. I hope you copy. Yes, it did. Now I'm going to enter the password. I'm still using the same password. I haven't changed the password yet. So um, this is now logging in with this new email address. And you can see how easy it is and how smooth it is. So I can easily go over to the settings area and remove the password and also remove the phone number. But uh, this is just a tutorial base. I already showed how to do those stuff on a different video. So let's say this account has been hacked, email has been changed, password has been changed. Now, what will these guys do? This guy is actually the owner of this account and he only got this email from Facebook saying, um, your account has been hacked please secure your account um there is this message that says um did you do this so this is actually the important link right here it says if you did not do this if you didn't do this please secure your account by clicking on this stuff so you have to click on that link and guys uh, make sure that you are already logged out of any other account <laughs> Make sure you are already logged out of any other account that is logged in on that particular link. So I think this one is actually logged in. Let me go ahead and log this out and then try to make use of that link again. So um, go ahead and click on secure account. Make sure there is no account that is logged in. Now you can notice this action was performed um, by your account email change when is it blah 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 if someone else is logged into your account we um we can help you secure it with few steps so go ahead and click on security account to secure that particular account now it's going to ask you some question now you can see um you started securing your account when is it blah 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 by clicking on the email link blah 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 to finish go ahead and click on continue now it's going to ask you um 
to get a code sent to your phone or to confirm your identity with another number because the phone number is still active the person probably have not changed it so go ahead and click on this but if the person have actually changed this this is very risky so you have to make use of this one and when you're making use of um confirm your identity through another computer or phone it's always 50 50 sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes it actually works but since i still have that phone number available i'm going to click on send code to the phone so i'm going to click continue now the email address will be sent to the number that i already have provided initially so if the person is smart enough he can quickly change all this but like i said immediately you guys receive that message quickly click on the link to change it because the person will not start changing your phone number immediately. The first thing the person will do to gain access to your account is change your email address. So that's always the first move to hackers hacking your account. So immediately you get that message, um, this message, just go ahead and click on this link and click on continue and select the phone number which you have and make sure you already have that phone number available. Now you enter the code that has been sent to your phone the code is always sent to your phone. Let me pause this video while I get the phone and enter it. So guys, I'm so sorry. The This phone number is currently not available right now because my brother went away with it. So I will not be able to complete this. But all I'm saying is um, immediately you get this code, just put in the code right here. Then after that, it's going to ask you to um, reset the phone number to reset the password and immediately you reset the password it's going to prompt you to log out every other device and you have to do that so immediately you do that go ahead and change the email address and then after you change the email address all you need to do is just um stay safe and that's all so that's all for this video guys i'm really sorry for not completing the way i wanted to complete it but i really hope you guys understand all i'm saying so make sure you have your account safe and secure always check your email address especially whenever it's from facebook so that you stay safe from hackers all right guys stay safe and see you guys soon on my next video peace